hey guys how are we doing so in this particular video i'll be giving you an ultimate guide to understanding candlestick patterns i see a lot of people trying to learn and practice candlesticks but i feel like they're doing it the wrong way because my own approach to candlesticks is a little bit different and it gives me a lot of age in the forex market so this is the same approach i used to teach some of my students this is the same approach i used to make all the money in the forex market so if you stick around to the end of this video you'll be learning my own style and approach to understanding and reading candlestick patterns and candlesticks and charts and it will help you to have a head start in the forex market and help you make better trades out there okay now if this is your first time on this channel i would love you to subscribe to this channel click on, on the subscribe button and click on the notification icon so that every time i do bring premium content on this channel you do not get to miss because i bring a lot of premium content on this channel guys so um give this video a thumbs up and let's jump right into the video after you have given this video a thumbs up so give the video a thumbs up like right now let's dive into the video hey guys so welcome to my chat now before we jump into my chat where we'll become much more practical on the chat now i want to give us an overview on how candlesticks were formed i'll give you a history of candlesticks how it was formed in three minutes i'm hoping i'll be able to achieve that in three minutes before we jump right into the chat and we see why and how i approach candlesticks reading and understanding the way i do okay now before anything like candlesticks were actually formed people were making trading decisions based on numbers okay they just look at the numbers on the screen i think there's this documentary 98 that was done in 1986 or 1976 one of that you know they just make their trading decisions just based on numbers why the numbers are just moving you know it was a digital screen it was just moving up and down they just make that decision so um just to let you know that even before candlesticks came people were trading people were trading without candlesticks man they were making decisions based on numbers and if you don't know this your approach to understanding candlesticks might be a little bit warped okay hence you need you really need to learn and understand this brief overview i'll be doing for you on the history of candlesticks before we dive into the chat and see how these things actually work okay now before candlesticks ever came we had four different ways that guys were you know guys back then we are reading and understanding candlesticks okay so this was number one we had the you know the simple um line graph okay they had a line graph sorry about that line graph uh, then the line graph you know developed and you know became became a bar chart okay we had the bar chart sorry i mean my typing it's just bad this morning and then we had candlesticks okay it's that simple okay now this we started with the line graph then we developed you know entered a bar chart then we now had a candlestick now a typical bar chart would you know look just like this okay this was all a line graph of course this would be price which is p then time okay so a typical bar chart you know just measured points on the chart okay and there's a line just connecting you know plotting a graph this is simply this is what an uptrend would definitely look you know looked like then when you were using line graph okay so this was it about line graphs okay then they quickly developed you know it got to a point you know they started using the bar chart the bar chart looked something like this okay looked something like this okay so this was what a bar chart typically looked like so this was a typical uh bar chart right this was what a bar chart looked like and the bar chart gives you four major information now this is where it actually gets like really serious you need to pay attention at this point the bar chart gives you you know uh, four informations give you the open of of a particular bar um the open it gives you the close then it gives you the high and number four it gives you the low okay now these are four informations we can see on every single bar chart okay now we can see here this is typical open this you know this is the open this is the close this is the high 
and this is the low okay so that's typical information you get from a bar chart now how does this consign candlesticks i'll tell you right now now the guys that came the guy that invented candles the japanese guy that i can't remember that is i used to know his name but i can't remember his name right now so the guy that invented candlestick did something like very very simple he did something really that was of course there was some you know there's a lot of smartness to the whole thing anyway but it wasn't just anything out of this world he simply added a body to this bar chart this is simply what he did he did this this became your typical uh this became your typical um bear um, um your bullish candle then he added the body to this one this became another bullish candle then he added the body right here this became a bearish candle he added the body here this became a um what's it called a uh, bullish candle another body here this became a bearish candle and then this typically became another bullish candle so if we add colors to this let me just add colors to this this is a blue candle this is a blue candle this is another blue candle okay then we have a red oh, sorry about that then we have a red candle here red red candle here then we have a blue candle then we have another red candle okay and then we have a blue candle right here okay so that was simply what he did he added a body to a bar chart and then he just made colors available okay so that you can decide to put red as your bearish candle and blue as your bullish candle or green as your bullish candle and red or pink as your bearish candle it's very simple now the reason why you need to know this is the fact that there was one thing that remained constant both on the bar chart and the candlestick chart and you need to understand this when he wanted to change you know i just make a bar chart to become a candlestick pattern or when we met i don't know whether it's the same guy that did, i don't know but however when we transition from bar chart to candlestick chart right four informations remain constant in fact five informations actually remain constant and you need to understand and view every candlestick you see out there through the lenses of those four things that remain constant these are the four things that simply remain constant okay the open of the candle the close of the candle the high of the candle and the low of the candle then the most important part of the candle that didn't change that never changed is this simple stuff right here called the wick the wick of every candle is without no doubt the most important part of every single candlestick because the week shows you the distance between the open of the candle and the close of the candle it shows you the distance between the close of a candle and the high and the low of the candle now these are very salient but very important informations that you need to know before you even start reading and understanding candlestick charts candlestick patterns right there the wick is the most important part of every candlestick now if we look at every bar um, every bar chart okay this is a typical bar chart right this would be this would be here the open okay this would be the close this would be the high this would be the low okay now then when they were using bar chart they made decisions just simply based on the length from here to here the length of this place to this place okay this were typically the you were like the most typical point they made their decisions of okay and people were making good money when they were using like only bar chart okay so the most important information that every candlestick would give you is the length of the week i can't say that enough the length of the week gives you the most information about every single candlestick right there if you don't know this you would lose it you will miss out you will miss, you might not be losing money but you will miss out a lot of opportunities to make money on the forex market you miss out a lot of opportunities now let, let's be uh let's now jump into the chart i hope you've been able to understand these things okay the whole thing the whole reason i'm doing this is to let you know that the week was there when they were making a decision you know making a decision um based on price uh, on bar charts and the week is also here now we have candlesticks to make decisions of right so 
let's jump into the chat let's now see how this works no so i'm currently on the AUD USD trade which is playing out well so this it's a bit it's really exciting <laughs> okay now so let's go let me show you very amazing information coming from the week now this is this is uh let's take this area of the chart okay so let me mark this out this was a a resistance this was a resistance okay and how do you know that this particular resistance would actually hold at this level okay now look at this let me mark out this particular zone now let let let's be practical now so when the market got to this point let let me zoom out let me do a replay i think a replay will help us at this point let me do a replay from here okay and on a 15 minutes okay so this this is a reason that has that was tested twice on the market and if you proceed you see the market comes into this point gives you this long week if the way i trade assuming i want to trade this i'm not a fan of reversals i don't trade reversals okay i love trend continuation my typical trading style i would love this to actually maybe come back to this somewhere here then i'll typically buy that's my usual trading style okay that's just an overview okay that's not my whole trading style, but that's just an overview now this whole week seeing this on the 15 minutes time frame gives you like very clean information it tells you that calculating from the distance from you know the um, the high of the candle to the close of the candle and the open of the candle it tells you that in as much as this is still a blue candle this is clearly a blue candle right this is a blue candle but the week tells you that the pressure if you calculate the length here and the length from this blue where the blue is and you find out that the length from here let me be let me just do this things more practical so if you calculate from here to here and the distance from here to here you find out that this is longer right the week is longer so as far as i'm concerned this is actually a bearish candle the color of the candle notwithstanding because the week is already telling me that at the end of the day the pressure here is actually higher the pressure at this point is actually higher the selling pressure is higher than the buying pressure in as much as we are seeing a blue candle here if this is me trading right now the next thing i'll typically do is to jump down to a lower time frame and look for a particular candlestick patterns or simple candlestick um you know just simple candlesticks patterns or chart patterns on a lower time frame that tells me and confirms that this trend is actually about to change and we're about to start pushing downwards okay how did i get on that information simply by looking at the week simply by looking at the week now let's be a little bit more practical now as you can see obviously this came here gave you another like this at this point this would like be a no-brainer because this week right here tells you okay two rejections has happened and the length of this week is really long telling you that the pressure is really high so if this was actually another blue candle right here it's 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 this is where traders miss it because the candle is blue they just assume it's a bullish candle it's a it's a bull candle but with this long week this is a bearish momentum you're seeing right here okay and um, boom what happened the market pushed all the way down okay now let's be let's just take another practical example um let, let me scroll back a little bit and let's do you know let's take one or two more examples now of course of course there are times where it doesn't work like this no doubt okay i'm not that there is nothing that is 100 percent in forex i've told you guys on this channel i'm and i'm always honest with these things okay there is nothing 100 percent in forex that sometimes you see this kind of week and nothing happens it doesn't do anything spectacular and you know the market just continues the way it was and all of that but however this is something you can actually test out for yourself okay is something you can actually test out for yourself now even without looking that backwards okay um let's see an example where something like that actually happened of course taking into consideration now these weeks right here you can see the pressure and all but i want to show you a, a a red candle that you know gave us that momentum but however you know it didn't do anything now this is another one let's do a replay again 
this is what we have here good so seeing this you can typically call say that this is a you know this is actually a uh, you know a bearish candle okay this is a beer candle and from your knowledge of candlestick once is a red candle that means we're still selling right that means the beers are still in control but people like me who are more interested in the length of the week seeing this week as far as i'm concerned this red thing right here doesn't count this is clearly a bullish candle as far as i'm concerned because if you calculate once again let's do our calculation move the length from here to here and let's move from here over to here so and why you need to know this is the fact that remember that every single candle is individualistic this red candle right here is a summation of everything that happened in this market in 15 because this is a 15 minute chart. so this is a summation of everything that happened in the market in 15 minutes okay so if we totally i isolate this candle right here if we isolate this candle right here let's let, let me do something here if i isolate this candle it will look something like this isolating this candle will look something like this let me change the color of this to red oh sorry ah. why okay it's faint sorry okay good let me isolate this candle so let's add these two stuffs right here okay i think i should just use, use this line let me use the trend line for this okay this is what this typically looks like let me make this black then let's move this oh my god what did i just do uh -huh, good let me adjust this good okay sorry for my i mean sorry i'm taking so much time to draw this but is so that you know you really understand this so typically this is what this candle we are looking at this is what it looks like right so if we isolate this candle if we isolate this candle and just maybe block out every other thing you're seeing here we've blocked out assume that you're not seeing every other thing you're seeing here if we isolate only this particular candle right here this is it right here and you're being asked okay and you're being asked for the space of 15 minutes where this candle actually played out which guys looked much more stronger which guys is it the bears or the bulls if you isolate this candle and maybe let's remove the color of this let's just remove the color of this whole thing let's just remove the color okay it's a blank candle with looking at this without the color what will you typically say it this definitely looks like a bullish candle because from what you're seeing here this is the whole pressure this is the pressure that the bulls were putting in on this whole thing this is the bulls pushing this market all the way up and the bs could only do something because i hope you know also that this one we have up here is also a bullish pressure right here okay and this this is simply the body right here is where the bs actually did some form of you know you know you know putting some form of action but pushing this whole thing up here is an action what i was taking from the bulls that was taken from the bulls and pushing it all the way down to this point was taken the bears at the at the at, at the time you know push this all the way down but from what you're seeing right here there is more um, bullish pressure than there is bearish pressure okay i just hope you understand this thing the whole idea i'm trying, trying to the whole thing i'm trying to teach and what i'm trying to explain in this video is that the colors of the candles can be much more misleading the colors of a candle can mislead you a whole lot if you are somebody who doesn't pay attention to the week that is what i'm trying to explain in one sentence okay the color of a candle can really be deceptive if you do not pay attention to the week this is clearly as far as i'm concerned as far as my trading style is concerned this is actually a simple bullish candle okay now this might be a little i know it might be controversial okay it might take you a little while to adjust because 
maybe this is me spoiling your you know candlestick psychology and all of that i'm not here to play with your candlestick psychology right i'm just here to just bring you another perspective so that you put this into consideration while you are reading and trying to understand candlesticks okay so what happened right here after this bearish after this bullish momentum what happened what do we see happen boom this is simply a bullish you know a bullish uh, momentum all the way upwards okay so this is just me in this video okay trying to give you an understanding help you to understand that the weeks is much more important than the candle the body of every single candle right there okay it's really simple. what i'm trying to teach is very simple and i'm hoping that you've been able now this is a time where you now go back to the chat start doing back testings for yourself okay i won't teach you everything of course i cannot even teach you everything okay that's why i have a lot of videos on this channel now this is a point where you just go back on the chat start scrolling to the chats and find out where these things i'm teaching actually played out and where it didn't play out you find out that 60 70 percent of the time when you see this kind of long wigs and red candles it's always a bullish momentum all the way up whenever you see something like this whenever you see something like this whenever you see something like this it's a bullish momentum all the way up and when you see it you know when you see it on a bullish candle it is actually a bearish momentum building up okay so that's the whole thing i want to teach you in this particular video now before you go i have a video on this channel where i talked about multiple time frames how how to you how to know the best time frame and how to choose the best time frame for your trading because if you don't understand and know why and how you should use a particular time frame you'll be using it the wrong way so i have a video where i teach about the best way the best way to choose candles you know time frames on trading trading the forex market okay so i'll probably look that link that video somewhere here okay here or here one of them but you'll see the video somewhere around somewhere around me right here right on the right or the left okay so i would love you to actually go and watch that video like right now um if you're here to subscribe to the channel at this point do where to subscribe to this channel and click the notification icon so that you don't get to miss out videos like this every single time okay so that said go ahead watch this video right here or right here anywhere okay so watch that video and have a wonderful time trading all the best cheers to your trading bye